expecting some greatness. This is a go big show. You gotta bring your best weapon. This is a go big show. You gotta bring your best weapon. This is a go big show. You gotta bring your best weapon. Hey girls, come here. I'm on TV with Snoop Dogg on the Go Big Show. Cool. Check this out. Check it out. Let's watch it. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Go Big Show. Thursday, <laughs> January 7th. Awesome. You can't pull this one off. This is um this is unbelievable right here. Zachary Fowler, and you're watching Fowler's Makery and Mischief. Woo! <laughs> Alright, give me a hug. I'll see you when I get back. You won't miss me. Who says that when they go away? Somebody else. <laughs> you're a liar! You're a liar! <laughs> Love you. I'll see you later. I will miss you. <laughs> I'll miss you too. All right, kids are gone. A little bit of packing, hitting the road. We're gonna be on another TV show. This should be wild. Not survival this time. This time, shooting the slingshot. The Go Big Show is a competition series like no other. There's no singing, no dancing, just action-packed, death-defying feats of strength and talent. The winner will walk home with a $100,000 grand prize. I feel like I'm getting ready to go on like a 30 day survival challenge. It's just a talent show, but because of lockdown stuff, foolishness, the uh, I'm not supposed to leave once I'm there. So I'm like, gotta make sure I have some ibuprofen if my back hurts in the morning from a hotel room. Like, I, if I was going out in the woods, I wouldn't need ibuprofen because I'd have my hammock and I'd be so comfortable. Lay 400 back. pounds of slingshot ammo. That about does it. I am Audi 500, Georgia. Here we come. Eighty-four pounds, as always. But Fowler hack. Save money in my bags by upgrading to first class whenever I have to travel with giant amounts of stuff. You spend a hundred bucks on the upgrade. Otherwise, the bag would have cost a couple hundred as well. o'clock at night. I am so tired. Look at that. They made me a special keto meal. A couple of vegetables and <laughs> little, little plants that I had laying around. Looks pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. Want to see what they got me? Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Masks. Holy hand sanitizer. Oh, water. Oh, a thermometer. More hand sanitizer. More hand sanitizer. Oh, a water bottle. Full of hand sanitizer. More hand sanitizer. Go Big Show Pass. More hand sanitizer. Water bottle. And more hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. What did I get myself into? Cold. I want it cold.
All right, we are in. It might seem like a bit much. I got my Shuttle Pro here to be able to move my timeline back and forth, a separate trackpad. But I mean, this is what I do for a living now and to be as productive as possible while I'm stuck here for a month in between sets, I'm not gonna have anything to do except for practice shooting my slingshot and I'm not allowed to go far. So I was hoping to scoot away and do some fishing and I may still be able to do that if things loosen up. But now that I'm all set up, I really don't feel like sitting here. Put my pet box together. Actually got special. So those are the bands I was shooting at home. So they're super stretchy, but I made a whole bunch of bands before I left. So those .4s, I'm worried that in the heat down here, it's not gonna work. I have .5s just in case I don't need a full on .6. So I gotta experiment with some of these so I can actually be able to practice and feel like I'm shooting the same way as I do at home because everything is on the line. These shots are perfect. So I need to be as much as I can in symmetry with my slingshot and my shooting if I'm gonna win the show. You have to believe yourself and then once you believe the dream will come true. So the slingshot I'll be shooting on the Go Big Show is actually my Sparrow slingshot named after my daughter. You won't miss me. I will miss you. I carved the slingshot like two years ago just out of a natural tree fork as something to do during the winter time while I was watching a movie in my living room. And uh, I've loved this slingshot so much. I've been shooting it for almost two years, nonstop shooting it at the East Coast Slingshot Tournament. The first year I got sixth place in the tournament. The second year I got second place and actually had to have a shoot off with the owner of Simple Shot Slingshots. And that's when they decided to make this into a production slingshot that everybody could own. And there she is right there. And that's what I'll be shooting, the orange one. But you can get them in orange, black, and uh, even green now. A nice little spot for my catch box. Camera's fogging up. It is so muggy out here. How's that? Is that better? I'm gonna get some of my slingshot practice in. A bit nervous. I really wish I had had more time to shoot before coming here. You know, I've been so busy with the other adventures. I'm Zachary Fowler, and this is the Seven Day Water World Survival Challenge. I haven't been practicing nearly as much as I used to. I was hoping to shooting every day for two hours and I managed to get maybe an hour every day. All right, target box is right there and it is so hot and muggy out here. Point four feels slow. Point five feels good in this one. A lot of traffic back there. That's nice, that's fast. Might be liking that the best. Hello. Where you at, player? Wow, I do not like the heat. Point 0.5. Point 0.6 is nice, super powerful. Maybe even on a hotter day it would feel the same as this point 0.5, but this is my favorite for indoor shooting is the point 0.4. The draw weight is really low, so it allows you to just be a little bit more at ease. Actually, I don't know. It's not even all that affected by the heat. This is good, good latex. This is our simple shot latex that we sell on our website. I'm having a hard time with this heat, I have to admit. It just feels like it's sucking the ever-loving life out of me. And then I switch to the point .5 and start hitting everything perfectly. Yep. 
All right, everybody, this is Kevin King. This is what I'm up against. And this is his monster truck. That's what I'm going against. Slingshot versus monster truck. Who's gonna win? Oh, Trying to get a good shot of the whole truck. So cool. He says if I come down to pay him a visit, he's got a ride truck with blue tires. This picture here, and I can uh, he'll let me drive it. Should I do that? Should I come down and pay him a visit? We make a video, crush some stuff, have some fun? That'd be cool, right? Now check out the inside of this thing. So he's got to come up through the floor here on the side. His pilot seat right there for the captains of the ship. Check him out. Links in the description below for him on Instagram. I'm trying to talk him into becoming a, a YouTuber and crushing stuff for videos. How sick would that be? Just every day, just make an episode of crushing something different. Something else just came I've been really excited about. Oh, there's just so much going on. It's like almost impossible for me to show you everything I've been up to and like new things that are happening. Uh, the Swiss Army Knife made me this. You can see the right color. It is an orange custom Fowler knife. So this is the prototype and I'm not too happy with that it turned out. There's like white the print doesn't go all the way around. The one I always carry here and you always see me using in videos. They're making a signature one for me to be able to have and sell on the website, which is like so cool. It's like, there's so many cool things happening at once. I'm just like blown away by all this, you know, thank you, Lord. I mean, just, I was just having so much fun. I can't wait. A one wheel, a one wheel, the big one too. This thing, ah. I have wanted one of these for so darn long. Oh my goodness, it's so heavy. Wow. I cannot believe how heavy this is. This thing is so rugged. Let's get it charged up and take it for a spin. Part of my excuse for being able to use it is I'll be able to use it for YouTube videos. So I'll do a one wheel trick shot Tuesday once I learn how to ride it. I think it's gonna be super fun for ice fishing. So I'll try to get another tire for it and stud it. And then when I go with ice fishing, I have this. Instead of a snowmobile, I'd like throw that on the ice and be like dragging my sled behind me to go out ice fishing like with my one wheel. And uh, while I'm going from hole to hole, I could just be like along and check it, check my tip ups or, you know, jig a hole and over to another hole and then jig it. Now, the question is where to find an outlet. I've already used up every single outlet in this place. Maybe I could use this for my second act to come out on the stage. Like, wow. There's three rounds and I'll soon be shooting my first round tomorrow. So I'm a bit nervous and I probably shouldn't, uh, should be very careful on this today so I don't break my leg, break my arm, break my shoulder. I can't shoot the slingshot at all. I got a lot to do with practice, uh, a lot of practicing to do today to be sure that I'm ready to rock. I don't have a helmet. To make a helmet. feeling good about my act. If that doesn't inspire confidence before I head out to do my act, I don't know what will. I'm gonna make a, uh, what is it, a gaffia to protect my head while I, uh, they don't have a helmet. <laughs> See if this works. It might be better than nothing. I think the, the, the whole wrapping head wrap thing has something to do with like going over and then under. Yeah, it's looking, it's coming together, I think. Groovy like a drive-in mode. I got a feeling I'm just gonna go with uh, not falling off. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is, is, is this gonna protect my head enough? I don't know, I feel like if I fall, of course it's probably, the reason I fall in the end is because it goes like this down over my eyes. Keep up 
can turn fast. Oh no, I'm almost keeping up with him. <laughs> and we're having so much fun here, everybody. Goofing around with each other. Get to know people of uh, different trades and all have like high quality skills. All pros in their own right. Wow, I've only been on it for a minute and my back left leg is like, oh. Oh no, no, this is no, this is some advanced stuff. I am not trying that going off of this. Not sure how to get off of it. If I go like this, it goes backwards. I jumped off, it worked. It went off road. Oh, oh this is hard. This is really hard. All right, practicing stopping. Oh, it's that easy. You just, before you start moving backwards, you just put your foot down. <laughs> Plain getaway, baby. If the producers saw me now, they would flip. Like trying out a new electric skateboard just before my act tomorrow for the first time. They would not be happy, but shh, nobody tell them. Yeah, this is actually really, really easy. Oh, you can go backwards too. This is actually really easy. I was that close to going down, but I did it. And now I'm like, is giving up for today the better part of valor since my act is tomorrow? There we go. That's oh, little fishes. I don't mind wading and getting wet. It's not particular on sinking out of sight. Should have brought my swim trunks. I feel like I went around, around this all wrong. Beautiful here. Rig up, get our fish on. Keep seeing something flickering around in here while I'm rigging up. I'll give it a try. It looks like a nice, quiet, little, deepish pool of beautiful Georgian water. We'll see. Nothing. No chasers. Oh yeah, fish on. Ah, oh, lost him. <laughs> That's a big old bluegill or pumpkin seed or something. I didn't catch it. Bass and trout mouth. Like it's oh, it was beautiful too with the color. Come on, fishy, fishy. Ooh. See a nice little deep spot over here. I got a good feeling about this spot. This is the spot. Oh yeah, fish on. Ah, oh, we got him. Oh, I got him. go first fish little bass bass all right buddy first fish in Georgia ow since I am here for a bit longer and I can always come back catch it bass I'm gonna repair my gear and do some other stuff this evening
digs in. There we go. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Nailed it! Let's go! The whole way! Full 360. <laughs> I, I should have looked into an affiliate account here. I think I just might have sold like five more of these already. One wheel, I called you and I was like, hey, and you guys are like, nah. So I bought my own. Who knows how many more will be gone in the next couple of weeks because of this, so. I'm 100% getting one when I get back home. Yes, yeah, me too. Yeah. So cool. For my hand stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's see, three, three. <laughs> three. Sponsor me. Three one wheel. I'm Wesley Williams, I'm the highest running box jumper. My name is Jamie Keaton, I'm also known as Canhead. That is so much fun, I am so wiped. My leg feels like I did like a huge workout. I ran three miles today and then rode that. Now I will definitely be tired enough to sleep. I'm so psyched. I think I'm just going to get into bed now and uh, be ready for my round one tomorrow. Ugh. I'm going to sleep so well tonight. I'm glad I did everything I did today to tire myself out because otherwise I'd be laying here fretting my shots and I can worry about that tomorrow when I'm waiting for my time to be on stage. Usually I do really well though. Uh, competitions any other time getting in front of the camera when I know it's time you know it uh, just focus the mind and let that practice and muscle memory do its thing and I got this so I'll see you guys in the next one and I'll let you know how I did after the episodes over thanks for watching Fowler out if you're looking for that episode that is episode six of the go big show airing on February 11th, The Last Chance. I don't know why they call it The Last Chance, because it's my first chance on the show, and you can see me there. Check it out. The Go Big Show. Thanks for watching. Once again, Fowler out.